we, we spoke about the tour. Uh, Chris Froome, Bradley Wiggins won the race last year. Chris Froome was second. And every week there seems to be a different story from Wiggins. He's either going to go for the tour or he isn't going to go for the tour. Do you think he's deliberately doing that to psych out Froome? Or you think he's playing with the opposition, the other riders? Or, or what's going on within Team Sky? Well, I think it's uh, to play with the opposition, first of all. Also to get uh, the journalists a little bit, uh, get them off his back as such, because uh, you know when the season starts, they're going to start talking about the Tour of France, and do you think you can win the Tour of France again? And you know that uh, that pressure, you know, is going to start building all the time. So uh, it was possible the tactic, you know, to say concentrate, go for the Giro, uh, and that was uh, something he mentioned at the end of last season, but. Then it's changing a little bit, as you say. Uh, so it will be an interesting one. Although, you know, the tour, uh, maybe the route is not as suitable as it was last year. But again, I think you know Wiggins, uh, looking at his performance last year, uh, when you have won a tour already, um, well, then I think you know the confidence will be there. And if he does, if he does uh, focus uh, totally on the tour, I think you know he's capable of winning it once again. Do you see any echoes of uh, Le Monde and uh, Eno in 1986? Uh, obviously, you were racing then, so do you see any similarities with that situation? Well, it's going to be an interesting one because last year within Sky, I think, you know, the uh, uh, building up to the tour, the months previous, it was, you know, for, uh, for Wiggins. They wanted to get Wiggins into a position and try and win the tour with Bradley Wiggins. And then suddenly Froome, he showed uh, unbelievable for him and, you know, very impressive in the mountain stages. Uh, and we did see with Froome when he went in, the, in, in an attack on one occasion, you know, the team orders were called out very, very quickly. Um, so it's going to be real interesting this year because if we comes around to July and both of them are very much up there, um, I would not like to be the director of Sky because it's going to be difficult, uh, you know, to control Froome if he sees again that he's in a position uh, possible to win the tour. But Wiggins is really in a good position. The team want, you know, uh, to get everybody around uh, Bradley Wiggins. It could be a little bit of a difficult situation for Team Sky.